guys, Andy here, and I'm here to bring you all things Monday to Makeup Related. If that's your vibe, I'd love if you would subscribe to be part of my little slice of the internet. And we have a new project intro for the channel. This is going to be my one of my versions of the whole collection project pan. So if you want to hear all of the details, what we're going to be rolling in, and the whole spiel about this project and what it's going to do for my channel, then let's just go ahead and get on into it. All right, so DW at Dub's Beauty Diary and I were just chatting away and thought up the rules for this project. I heavily took inspiration from It's Just Steph and her whole collection project pan. So both of their channels will be listed in the description box. I highly recommend you checking them out. But what I'll be doing is randomly generating 10 products to start with, and then it will be rolling style after that. Each product will have a three to five use goal, really just depending on the product. Um, and I'm using this project as a way to determine whether or not I want to keep these items in my collection, um, whether they have a place. I really want to curate my collection. And if I don't declutter them, then it'll be nice to just get some use. I want to just start touching everything in my collection. Uh, big rule, if I haven't used a product in two months, it needs to be decluttered unless like extenuating circumstances like how in June I didn't do makeup and I didn't film for the whole month of June. Obviously like that month wouldn't count. I can't really think of any other extenuating circumstances but I mean obviously if something else arose we would talk about that then but as of right now if a product hasn't been touched in two months it needs to get out of my collection as Blazemere comes to yell at me. Um, no more than two items from the same category in any, in this, um, project. So, like, two foundations, two concealers, things like that. Unless I'm specifically okay with it. Like, if I roll in three blushes, I probably would be totally fine with that. There are no palettes in this project, and there are no magnetic singles. Because coming soon, you will see that both of those will be in their own projects separately that I will be introducing soon. But my potted and liquid singles and everything else is fair game there in this project. Um, and let's just go ahead. Let's see. I have everything in the wheel. That took me hours, by the way to get everything in tiny decisions in a wheel. Just saying. Um, I just want to see what, how many things, how many things are in the wheel. There's 400. Stop it. Yelling at me. There's 456 single options in the wheel. Like, excuse you. Get back into tiny decisions. This is what the wheel looks like. So, let's see. What's our first item going to be? A blush. That's the NYX Citrine Rose Blush. NYX Citrine Rose. Pretty blush. I haven't used it in ages. I will grab everything after we've picked our 10 products and then I'll decide how many uses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, number two, the worst part is going to be going in here and taking these things out of the wheel. Ooh, a designer dust co mama sparkles magic. So that is in my little thingy. It's a glitter gel. Designer dust co in the shade 
Mama Sparkles Magic, which is one of the more interesting shades, in my humble opinion. Let's see, let's see. Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. We're getting a wide variety. Variety? Wide array of things. My brain just sort short circuited. Jesus, I am having a stroke. Concealer. Okay. What's next? What's next? What's next? Milani Coral Cove Blush. Coral Cove. And since this is the beginning, I'm really going to stick to the rule of two items. So no more blushes. If it pops up a blush, we're rolling again. Ooh, an eyeliner. ColourPop Piggy Bang. Which, that's a purple. I think that's like the really vibrant purple. Piggy Bank eyeliner. We're halfway through. ColourPop Fruit Punch. That's a super shot. And I was debating on not putting my ColourPop stuff in here because I'm also still doing color pan. But I love my ColourPop items, so why not get more uses on them? Let's see. Beauty Bakery Sugar Coat Everything Highlighter. Which is a pretty highlighter. Sugar coat everything. Highlight. Also, I'm not counting the fact that the Designer Dust Co. and the Super Shock are like the same thing because a glitter gel is not the same as like a single, like a Super Shock shadow, even though they're both singles. What is next? I really do love that we're getting such a variety. That makes me very, very happy. A balm. Milani Strawberry Lemonade Balm. Alright. It's a lip balm. Strawberry Lemonade. It literally sits on my desk. I swear it's never ending. Lip balm. Two more items. What are we getting? What are we getting? Nope. No more blushes. Okay, we could do another. Oh, that's a water activated liner. Morphe L Dog, and that's from a Morphe palette eyeliner. So that'll be fun. And very last item to start. It's a loose shadow. Notoriously morbid blueberry pie. Notoriously morbid blueberry pie, which I know is gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, grab these 10 items, come back so we can swatch them and talk about them and figure out how many uses I'm going to do on everything. So I will be right back. All right, that honestly didn't take as long to get out as I thought because my drawers have been reorganized since doing my declutters, which I'll have to take you through all my reorganization once I finish with the declutters. So we're going to go down the line and start. I hate that the blushes are very similar, but that means they'll be easy to use together. 
But we have, this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow Blush. And this is the shade Citrine Rose. It is a very pretty blush. That is the shade there. It does have a glow. Let me get out a makeup wipe. To wipe my fingies. To be honest though, I don't know. I think I've used this on the cheeks only a handful of times. So I want to put a five use goal on this one. So next we have from Designer Dust Co. And that's Mama Sparkles Magic. So this is the face sprinkles. And this is the face hair and body glitter gel. And Mama Sparkles Magic is this one right here. So let me get this open. I'm very excited to get some use on this. So there's Mama Sparkles Magic. It's got some moons. Let me let me put the lid back on this and let me turn it around again and see if I can see any other shapes. So it's got moons and stars. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that very well because it's this one right here. But yeah, there we go. It's got moons and stars in it. And that's a slightly sheared out swatch. So I have had this since February and I've never used it. So due to that, I'm just going to put a three use goal. Figure out if this formula is even for me, even though I spent $50 on that. Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. Never use the brush. Should I try the brush? Is the brush good? I wish you could take it off. Because how easy is that to clean? But I have the shade 20NN. I really like this concealer. I love the doe foot. God, why was there so much on that? I think it's a really good shade match for me. Um, I really like it as a spot concealer. I love it on the under eyes. I just really like this. Um, because I know that I like this and it's really good, I'm only going to put a three use goal on it so that we can, because that's something else. If I already know I love it, I'm going to just put a three use goal on it so I can meet my uses and rotate things through my collection. So three use goal on the concealer because it's gorgeous and I love it. Now the other blush, this one's from Milani. It is their Rose Powder Blush in the shade Coral Cove. I don't honestly think I've ever used this on the face. They're similar but not the same and I think they'll look really nice together. So because of that, I'm also going to put a five use goal on this blush. What do we got next? ColourPop Piggy Make. And I was right. It is the Vibrant Purple Liner. Look at that. Gorgeous. These do break because these are not the reformulated version of these liners. Hello, Blazemere. Hi, Bubba. But I love them. So I'm just going to put a three-use goal on the liner. I know I love them. I know I love this shade. So there's that. I think that'll pair with the glitter. Oh, don't get me started. Then we have the ColourPop Super Shock in the shade Fruit Punch, which I wish was more chartreuse -y. Because that's what I wanted it to be. It's more yellow, but it's still gorgeous. Very stunning. Like the a Beetlejuice look. Halloween's coming. So 
I know I love my Super Shocks, so I'm going to put a three-use goal on that guy. Three uses. Beauty Bakery, Sugar Coat. <laughs> sugar Coat everything. This is a really nice highlighter. I really like Beauty Bakery's formula. I'm really sad that they closed. I think they're reopening under someone else. But this is a really pretty highlighter. I know I like it. So I'm just going to put a three-use goal on this highlight because it's pretty. The Milani Strawberry Lemonade Balm. I will swatch it. It's got a slight tint. It smells really good. It does smell like strawberry lemonade. There it is right there. You can build it up a little bit. It perpetually lives on my desk. Whenever I come over here to do makeup, it's the first thing I put on. So I'm going to put a three-use goal on it. Literally, it'll be the first thing that will be done. I'm sorry. That's Blaze Mirror playing in uh, plastic bags. They're his favorite toy, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> then next, we have from Morphe, the shade L-Dog. So this is the Morphe and Avani Greg for the Bebs palette. But at the bottom, if you don't know, at the bottom of this palette, these are all water-activated liners. There's 10 of them. So I have them listed separately in my collection because they're, they're not eyeshadows. They're water-activated liners. So we have the shade L-Dog, which is the navy blue here, which actually I'm going to get out because I want to swatch it. So we're just going to use a little setting spray. Because normally you should use water, but setting spray works in a pinch. And... Whee! Well, that's a very nice deep blue. So that right there, that's the shade L-Dog. Let's see what I will tell you. Is as much as I think water activator liners are fun, Lazemir is having the time of his life running around back there. I don't use them. Like, I want to. I want to be that liner person. But I'm just not. I'm going to put a three-use goal on. But we shall see. And last but not least, we have from Notoriously Morbid. This is Blueberry Pie. It is a loose shadow. And it's so pretty. You look, when I'm looking at it, I see like a purple base with a blue sparkle. And that's not what you're seeing at all. It's so pretty, so dimensional. Like, I don't think I would purchase from Notoriously Morbid again, but I do really like the things that I have. So, and I, I don't know, I've never tried this shade specifically on the eyes, but, so sorry, that was loud. The things that I've tried from Notoriously Morbid, I do really like. And I love loose shadows like this, so I'm just going to put a three-use goal on this. So I'm sorry that everything seems like a three-use goal. Everything is besides those two blushes, because one, it's going to take me no time at all to hit the uses on blushes. But two, I really have never used those blushes, so I want to really get my thoughts on them. A lot of the things that I pulled I've used... Or they're items that I really, like the water activated liner, the glitter gel, three uses is going to let me know if I want that in my collection. Unfortunately, the glitter gel and the water activated liner, well the glitter gel, that's going to tell me if I want that in my collection as a whole because that's going to tell me if I like the formula. The water activated liner, I mean really the same thing, but I'm going to, I want to try the palette out too because like, this is a whole palette. 
So that's going to be the intro for the whole collection project pan. I'm going to update this monthly, but that's everything that we're going to have in here to start. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you are excited for what we're doing. And we have three more projects that I will be introducing within the next few weeks for magnetic single shadows for, and then two for palettes, two separate projects for palettes. So please subscribe if you haven't, be on the lookout. I'm so excited for new content and I will absolutely see you in the next one.